guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the Lemmy brand, vitamins and supplements. So I'm going to give you my honest opinion. The bottles are half empty because I wanted to try them out for at least a few weeks and give you my honest opinions. But before we get into the video, I do want to do a disclaimer. You guys, vitamins, I take them. I love them, but they're not FDA approved, uh, regulated. Uh, they're USDA regulated. So there is recommended daily dosages, but just know that if you're ever going to take a supplement, make sure to consult your doctor or your primary care provider, because you just want to make sure that if you are on medication, sometimes supplements that you take can either increase or decrease the effectiveness of your medication. So I just wanted to say that disclaimer. So let's move on. I think you'll be a little surprised by what I have to say about this. But before you swipe me away or click me on this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, I bought these, I want to say at least two to three weeks ago. So I have the Let Me Matcha, the Let Me Gloat, and the Let Me Sleep. I started off with the let me sleep because lately I just haven't been able to fall asleep with anxiety um, and I wanted a supplement that wasn't going to totally knock me out. And so melatonin is just a hormone that's in your body that helps regulate your circadian rhythm. And I'm also very sensitive to stuff. <laughs> so I was really hesitant to go and get a prescription or something that's stronger. Um, so this has five milligrams of melatonin, L-thanine, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, magnesium. So one thing that enticed me to magnesium is I, my dad like recommended me taking uh, magnesium for headaches. It is a natural muscle relaxer. So I had taken magnesium supplements in the past and they would knock me out. Um, it has chamomile extract, lavender extract, and elderberry extract. So one thing I will say about her gummies, some of them taste really, really good, but the consistency of the gummies are all very different. Um, these are I love the flavor of these. It's probably one of my favorite flavors, but it is very like chalky. I think when you chew on it, the consistency is just very different. Um, I personally like these a lot and I will buy them again. I'm almost empty and I let a friend try them. I gave two gummies away. They're 60 uh, or four. <laughs> I gave four away and I really, really like these. And what I like about them is it claims to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. Honestly, what I like about these is they don't knock me out immediately. I kind of have a smooth transition into my sleep. However, I do not feel groggy at all when I wake up. I feel well rested. The other day I was actually laughing because I have a routine where I put my Apple Watch away, I read, turn off the lights and I fall asleep and this particular day i remember going to bed and thinking that i put my watch away put my apple uh, ipad away and i remember my home my husband getting home at two o'clock in the morning and i remember waking up and feeling my ipad next to me seeing that my watch was on and what was funny about it was that not only was my watch on <laughs> but it was like in exercise mode and i was like what the hell and like i didn't even know where i was i was so tired and like startled um, but I really, really like these and I am definitely going to purchase this one again. The next one I want to talk about is the Let Me Matcha. <sighs> okay, I bought these not really for the energy because I have tons of energy. Um, I love matcha. I am a matcha fiend. Like I go to every coffee shop anywhere and we'll try their matcha green tea latte. I buy the matcha green tea powder anywhere I could get my hands on it because I love matcha. So I bought this more for that. So this has um, 50 milligrams of organa, organic uh, green matcha and coenzyme 10. It also has vitamin B12, uh, 25 micrograms of it and uh, less than five milligrams of sodium. So, 
I can't get past the flavor. I will not buy this again simply because of the flavor. I feel like this is more also of a harder gummy to chew. It's not chalky um, like I feel like the other one is, but uh, it tastes more like caramel to me and then a little bit of matcha, but I just can't get over the flavor. Like I eat it first in the morning when I take my vitamins because I do not like the taste of it. However, ever since I started taking this, I have not needed a second like cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee, but like I don't need a second um, like form of caffeine throughout the day. And let me give you an example. I live 101 miles away from one of my jobs. I wake up at 3 a.m., leave my house by 4.30, and usually when I get like start to come home, um, I leave my job 6.30 the latest, but I don't get home till like 8 p.m. Midday, I'll take a second energy drink. And ever since I started this, I have not at all had to have that second energy drink. So I think this works. And the recommended... Um, dose for this so the sleep aid is two per night this is two gummies up to three times a day i've only taken it sorry once <laughs> in the morning and i don't know i really think that it works i just can't get over the taste all right last one we're gonna talk about sorry my food was done so i had to go get it uh off the stove Last thing we're gonna talk about is let me debloat. So this is also two gummies a day. The consistency of this gummy, I wanna say, okay, these don't stick at all. This one sticks a lot. This one does have the consistency of other gummy vitamins that I have seen. And I also do like the flavor. This is what they look like up close. All right, let me tell you a little backstory. I just, I feel like I've just been born gassy. <laughs> like I live off some methicone. My stomach bloats like crazy to the point where it is painful. I can't breathe and I have to like hunch over. I've had an endoscopy, a colonoscopy. Like I've tried lactobacillus. I've tried, um, Beano. Like I, have just feel like I've gone to the GI doctor so many times to find some type of solution to why I bloat like crazy. And I've tried a probiotic before. This has been a godsend to me. I, this is a prebiotic and probiotic. Um, this has, I can't even say it. Xyloligosaccharides. Don't think I pronounced that correctly. Um, proprietary probiotic blend and bacillus coagulans and bacillus subtilis. Yeah, I don't know, but there it is. I kid you not, I have not, like, like I said, I buy some methicone religiously. I have not had to like worry about having some methicone with me ever since I started taking this gummy. And I'm being 100% honest with you because like this, <sighs> disappointing. <laughs> I don't like the taste. This, amazing. This works in the sense that it gives me energy. I just don't like the taste. But this, like, I will buy this again and again because I've noticed in like a week a huge, huge, huge difference. Like, do I still get gas? Yes. But do I bloat to the point where my stomach is killing me and I'm like so uncomfortable? No, and it just blows my mind because I was on a probiotic for a long time. I tried different probiotics um, from different brands. I <laughs> tried the Beano, um, which is like an enzyme or something. Like I just cannot find relief. I try to stop drinking from straws. I just try to do everything I possibly could to decrease this bloating. And this product, amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. I like the taste. I love what it does. Like, I don't know how. I don't know why. But I will definitely buy this one again. Definitely gonna buy this sleep one again. <sighs> Courtney, 
can we work on this taste because this works like for me and i'm very sensitive i don't drink coffee so maybe for someone who drinks a lot of coffee it like might not do much for you but like seriously this is enough for me like i still love my matcha lattes in the morning but this is enough to give me energy throughout the day i have not attempted to try a second gummy because i am very very naturally hyper anyway but anyway that was my thoughts and opinions on all of these don't forget to check with your primary care provider before starting any type of supplements. Leave me comments down below if you guys have tried it and I'll see you on the next video.